Hey everyone, welcome to episode 17, where we are going to fight a siege party. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Start off with a little bit of bloodshed to set everything right. So why not? So the wind is blowing very hard, it is snowing very hard, and we are going to murder us up a storm. So I'm going to have Kartha close the distance. Looks like I have a cougar and a grizzly bear sitting on top of them, which I might be so inclined as to take advantage of. So you know me. Every little possible advantage works for me. Kind of wish I had those sniper rifles already, but I don't. Alright, let's kill Lisa. Killing Heather Lan. How about there? Tachi. We'll have you sit in the pocket. Lockhart. Just start running down here. I'm not gonna have. Carthage's already getting hit. Ah, oh, they're getting hit more though. Tink right off his armor. Try to take out the bolt people first. Nice. So another cool thing I noticed, when you select them all, it can very quickly show you what guns they have. So, bolt action rifle, Rowan has one. Knife. Um, machine pistol, Salros. Kleros has it. Revolver, Nicholas. Shotguns, three of them. Holden, Flea, and Sear. Uh, find that pretty handy. Maybe that existed before and I had never noticed, but figured I'd point it out just in case you didn't know about it. Alright, they're assaulting the colony now. I'm gonna have Tachi center up. Have Lockhart take cover behind a tree. All right. Selros has the most next most dangerous weapon, the machine pistol. So, oh, she's already dead. Now I'm just gonna go for proximity. Whoever's the closest. And now they're fleeing. You know. I thought I'd have, like, an actual fight on my hands. Not a slaughter. So I killed them before they even got the, uh... Before they ha actually had built anything. It occurs to me that if anyone's gonna run them down, it will be Kartha, even though he's wounded. He's still probably way faster than the rest of them. Alright, Mr. Lockhart, haul some steel. Kalen, haul some meals, lamb. Haul the components. Nope. Oh. -ho. Two shots, two hits. We just got shield belt. Let's see, what next? Um, well, we have hmm, pulse power armor. Power armor. Let's see if we can't kill Niklas before he uh, zones out. Oh, what a shot! What a shot! What a boss! Uh, 
I think I'm going to leave his body to feed all of the meat-eating animals that will starve in the winter. Ooh, damn. Let's haul that. Oh. Man, this wind is loud. Alright, so someone, I'm sorry I'm not attributing it to you properly, came up with the idea of why don't you just slap grow lights in this thing and grow year round? That's like a fantastic idea. So, uh, yeah, I'm really sorry I can't remember who said that, but um, that sounds pretty awesome to me. So we'll do just that. Uh, so what I was thinking about that is we still want this roofed. Um, so I'm going to eat up um, some of the storage space here, unfortunately. Put in an auto door. Put it here. And then put in probably... Hmm, that's kind of in the way, isn't it? Alright, I'm going to have to redesign a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe not do that. I kind of didn't like how that was going. I wanted to sort of harvest the heat from the geothermal, but um, that might not be all that possible. down to hall and now he's in a fight with the wild boar um Carthy, you can get down there the fastest lucky you might be the closest we'll just grab a better weapon while we're down there I don't think land's gonna recover from this All we can hope for is that he gets knocked out. Well, Kartha and Lucky will rectify this situation. Oh, he's on his feet again? You better catch up, guys. Stay down. You'll be fine if you stay down. Alright, Kartha. Use them amazing legs of yours. Mr. Lucky. Actually, you know what? He might be bleeding out really quickly. Um... I'd rather have you just patch him up here. Oh, he had time, but this reduces the chance of infection. I'm sorry to have dropped you so many times. Alright, 
Well, that was... That, that worked out, I suppose. Man, listen to all that whip and wind. It might not be so ideal that they have to pass through the kitchen to get to the hospital. Um... Might be better if we put doors... As long as the research bench is here, there's not really a good way around it. Guess we're storing all their corpses. Let's haul... Medicine instead of corpses. Now what does Maker work on? Okay, Maker, 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 Maker. I want you making the new weapons. Uh, we just struck compacted machinery. Oh, very cool. Alright, so this is a little overhead mountain. Wally the machine is continuing his super mining. Birdskin masterwork. Wow, okay. We have a lot of pants to make due for that trade agreement thing that we were queuing up. I think, actually, uh, we'll have Lucky make more than 10, 19, and we'll unpause at nine. All right, he's healing up. Shouldn't get too infected. We have a bunch of slate blocks for construction. It's outside, it's 12 degrees. In here, it's still, you know, it's actually still pretty warm. Much warmer than ambient in here, which is good. Look at that speed. So just to review, we have some trade that we want to do. So advanced components for our architect leg. Yes, absolutely. Um, what was the other one? I thought we had another one. It was all the way down here? No. All right, history, messages. Caravan request, pants for Resurrector Serum. Oh, way up there. Okay, so we're making a bunch of pants and we'll make some advanced components as well. All right, lucky. Get cooking. We are rocking the pants. All right, have we made our first sniper rifle? Not yet, maybe? I like how he keeps creating masterwork pants and he just throws them on, as you can see. 
Soon that plate armor he's in is actually going to be, uh, let's say, out of style. I'm going to have him drop it. And I'm just going to... Oh, it's already forbidden. Wally the Wimp. Uh... Oh, I guess that didn't hold it up. Did you just... <laughs> I really had thought that I queued up a... Uh... A torturer named Milo, yeah. No thanks, buddy. I'm good. I don't need to recruit a torturer. But I appreciate the offer, I guess. I gotta be more careful with the roof collapse. Seventy five per cent tended. So I think what I'm going to do is burn apparel, um, allow all apparel that it is fifty five hit points or under of any quality of all types. Maybe I'll get. I'll keep power armor, advanced helmets, because they'll probably sell. I'll keep the stuff that could be expensive. Uh, and then... Burn, and then do this forever. And then burn apparel of... All of... Awful to poor quality. Once again, limiting some of it. So if we have any tattered or nearly tattered stuff, we just get rid of it. That way, all of these, if they're like crummy pants, I just don't end up ever really seeing them. Alright, here's the first sniper rifle. It's only good. That's fine. Lands back up on his feet. Wally lacks a weapon. It's funny not to have any solar, actually. Maybe I should throw solar generators into the mix. Um, it's because I feel like they're left out, right? How big are they? They're 4 by 4 Alright. Um, there we go. The waterproof conduit looks a bit cooler. I just noticed that. Think. Maybe I had never zoomed in, but I'm pretty sure it looks cooler and different. Alright, so we're done making all our pants. I'm going to temporarily suspend the dusters. Um, so, components. I'm going to have Kartha make it. And advanced components, I'm going to have Kartha make it. Because he's not as good of a crafter, but he's a lot faster. I always find it weird when these guys go to the poker table. It sounds like they're rolling die. It's like, ah, uh, that's not poker. That's dice. That's different. Man, that mega screen TV really fulfills needs very quickly.
Alright, so it's only this roof here. Where'd all our components go? Do we really... What? Oh, did we make another sniper rifle? I am not sure. What is going on? I'm so confused as to why all of a sudden all the components are just like, poof, non-existent. So we have five. Yeah, I'll just keep track of it. Let's temporarily suspend this stuff. Oh, I know where they went. <laughs> they went into these mega turrets. I suppose that's fine. That is a fair use for them. So that's not half bad. We have a little space along the wall to move. So, if we look at the power here... it like that and everything will connect. Alright, so back to steel. We're cranking out a bunch of components and the like. We're going to need some extra steel, right? Um, Gotta be careful around these hungry bears when we go mine it, though. Don't want to be bear food. Alright, so we're done here. Um, so there's two little squares of overhead mountain. And then I think what I'm going to do is just cancel the rest of this. Truly not all that important. We already have components in all the other construction projects. What we're missing is plasteel, presumably. How'd that cougar die? I don't know. That's uh, a little bit of a mystery. I guess Land knows. He's holding it. Oh, it was sniped by Kartha. I didn't notice. Okay, so we have the bulk goods flying overhead. That's nice. So... We have 33 pants that are normal or better quality. That's plenty for the um, for the trade. Just making sure I can sell some stuff. Travel meals, sure. We need the silver. Double strand. I'm just going to sell all the leather. So we can just hunt more. Even the thrumbo. Um, marble blocks, limestone, sell that. Oh, we don't want to sell their pants. We can sell travel wear, though. And somewhat damaged shirts. Can sell that stuff without hesitation. Sell the armor. Cloth toque, goodbye. Uh, we have some damaged wool toques. We're going to need uh, to 
get more wool. And that's about two grand. Helps fill up our uh, our stockpile. Okay, so we can't make advanced components because we have a lack of plasteel. Uh, which makes me think I'm just going to change my research over to deep drilling. Uh, maker here is going to assist with that. Uh, let's see. Smelt, weapon... Melee weapon. See if I can't get him to smelt the Iqua. Oh, you're smelting some of the daggers? That's fine. We only made those temporarily. Oh, it's relax hour. That's why I couldn't even tell you to do anything. All right, so sun lamp. We will create a grow zone and have this be rice. Let's plop in another. So one here, one here. That I think will cover us all. And as you can see, we're already growing in here. It won't be the right temperature until I uh, drop some additional heaters. Couldn't hurt to run conduit because redundancy helps. So our connection rate is still pretty good. But that doesn't mean I don't want those solar panels. Just to diversify. Alright, so this here can get destroyed. This can get destroyed. And this is a regular slate door. That's fine. So these doors are going to become just open slate doors. I think I'm going to forbid... No, I'll let them pass through there. It's just not great for heating and insulation. It's already 61 in here. So actually, you know what? Maybe I don't need these. I'll put one more in. Solar panels are getting set up. Or the area for them, I should say. Not really panel time yet. We have a lot of the slate blocks. Oh boy, that is too good to be true. Right, create another grow zone. This will also additionally be rice. So this last one's not going to cover this section here. Hmm. I might not worry about it. It's not worth the power for five spots.
actually. Let's see. Now remove this for a second. Create new grow zone of rice. Just so that I can see, maybe I didn't place this in the best spot. So if I put it here, I lose, ah, come on. Room, stop displaying stats. That's not right. There we are. So I lose two, gain three. Lose, yeah, so here, oh no, no, it would be a net equal. Because I, I gain the three at the bottom, but then the one that, okay, yeah, that's fine. That is, I think, one of the more efficient areas for it. Alright, so Karthik's cranking out some blocks, which is going to be quick and easy. Our connection rate is negative. So we need that... All that sweet, sweet solar. And how much time do I have on this trade? So we've got 30 days and 16 days. I want to wait until spring. It's almost spring. The problem is we don't have any plasteel. Um, we don't have any plasteel to make the advanced components at the moment. So, that will be a bit of a holdup. Oh, can't waterproof conduit that way. Along the shore we go. Martha to make the the nice generator here. I'm gonna craft components until I have 50. Also, I want a bunch of them. These grow lights are off, obviously causing brownouts. Having some more power generation will fix that. And more storage capacity. Um. Raw uranium. I don't know how I overlooked that, but that's cool. Wally should be... yes. I was gonna say, he should be mining useful steel now. Plus, there's just a lot of it from that raid. Carry that all back. This kill box is looking pretty good. Still waiting on that plasteel though. I don't know how we went from having hundreds to none. Shutting some of the unnecessary stuff off will help. But I don't really want to be in the business of micromanaging my power. I'd rather just have more than enough. Alright, Karth, 
Agatha. It's probably enough of those. Incompetent cook. Just gave food poisoning. Well, that's not good. Only initial food poisoning he's already keeled over. Classic. Alright, so how's... Man, these take so much power. Our connection rate is good, but only because we have our solar up and running right now. Alright, let's work on the water mill. It's mostly made out of wood, which is helpful. Wood is definitely a resource we have plenty of. Alright, you're hauling steel back. Forget the yayo. Haul them steels, man. That's what we need. Okay, so we have all the wood that we need for that. We have almost all the steel. One more delivery. Now the solar power uh, generators will help enormously with um, with the requirement the uh, grow lights because the solar generators generate power when the grow lights are on most. If that makes sense. And spring has begun, so we can prep the trade soon. I just want to sort the power out first. Who puts a gun on the table like that? Probably me. <laughs> <laughs> Psychic ship. Awesome. Well, at least they'll have some plies still, right? Try to make some of that conduit. Doesn't make so much sense to have a power generation thing that generates no power because you're not actually using it. Oh, wow, that broke pretty quick. Brand new and it's uh, fell apart. Not in home area fix that. I generally don't like the automatic painting, um, but I often forget to paint anyway. I don't like the automatic painting because a lot of the times you'll make like a temporary bed to rescue someone and then own that area permanently and it's really really annoying but that it looks about right lucky you have really failed on your cooking duties I guess that's not true we haven't had crops all right so now this is connected which is good generating some real power now
So the advanced components for an architect leg might be challenging to fulfill given our lack of resources. A lack of plasteel. Alright. Let's turn this off. Turn this off. Turn this off. We're not using it. Major break risk. Why wasn't I alerted of the minor break risk? I mean, I realize the ship is driving everyone a little batty, but it shouldn't be that bad yet. Oh, Wally dropped his gun again? Yeah. That's why the gun was on the table. He was eating and got food poisoning. Alright, well, we can fix this. Alright, so the power connection rate is definitely positive now, because we're generating... Oh, we're generating actually less with the water mill. It used to be 1,200. I love how there's a turkey on the dock. Um, most of these turrets are off because they're just connected to dead circuits. Yeah, we're basically saving as much power as we can at the moment. And when everyone arises, I think it is... Machine bashing time. I think what I'm going to do is send Kartha out first. He has the longest range weapon. Just to trigger it. Because he can also escape the fastest. To see what we're actually up against. Make sure Wally's not mining in the area. So I'll have to stand here, I guess. Still not close enough. Alright. So two centipedes, inferno cannon, and minigun. So pretty short-ranged uh, combat here. You know what? Actually, that's not good for fires. I can't reinstall these, though. So I'll fix that later. Normally, I leave spaces. The centipede. They might just keep attacking me. Normally, they, like, return back to their ship. But if they want to keep attacking me, uh, that is fine. Because I can send a contingency out to blow up the ship while they chase Kartha. Start crossing the water. Oh, nope, nope. They are kind of going a strange way. They kind of lost interest in Kartha because he kind of zoned out. Jesus, Wally. That was a good catch on my part, I'd like to say. Alright, you stupid slow centipedes. I'll stand in the river if you want me to.
Not sure sending Lockhart out here was the wisest idea, because he is the slowest of everyone. How fast are you? 155? Easy. In a second here, this minigunner will be in range with these guys. Now I'm in range for it. Oh boy. Not fully micromanaging Kartha very well. Well, I guess we know the range of that Inferno Cannon now. Choke up, now that it's gone. Stupid ship's almost done for. A few more shots. Alright. And peace was had all over the land. Now the issue is they're going to want to return to the base sort of through the danger area. So I gotta make sure they don't kill themselves that way. Um. Speaking of kill themselves... Wisest decision, Mr. Wally. Tachi's running right by him. This minigunner doesn't seem to care at all. all right, what if I said... Shut it. It's kind of helpful that he goes down so quick. Almost done with this centipede. Alright, Tachi, save the idiot. Lan, haul the gun. Whoa! That was actually pretty cool. Nice. He like didn't get burned somehow. All right, so the moron is being saved. Lands hauling the gun. 
finish him. Clearly, I need charged rifles. Sniper rifles are pretty good, but these bolt action rifles tink off their armor most of the time. Shooters on this one. Done. Alright, the other one is in the river. And just under range. this fight to take longer than it needs to, so I'm going to send more people to do it. The ship's already gone, so it's just the matter of this last centipede, really. It's hard to keep out of range of this centipede, though. The minigun's slightly longer range. teasing it like we're doing. I almost feel bad for it. feel like I'm treating it like Tantalus, you know? The enemy targets are always just a little bit out of reach. If you don't know the myth of Tantalus, do some Google Foo. You'll figure it out. All right, Karthet. Uh, Tachi, flick that on. Easy peasy. Let's deconstruct this mechanoid. Really? You go for that one? You're standing right next to one. Alright, so we have deep drilling. Now we need the radar. So if I want, I can connect this to live or not. We can flick these on and off at will. doing here is replacing these with normal doors. That will ease up our power requirements a little bit. Now that this is all inside, uh, we don't need to have auto doors. In fact, we really don't even need auto doors here either. This wimp of a hunter lacks a weapon. Alright, so we're obviously getting the plaz deal because we're starting to make stuff with it. There we 
we go. Our last big turret. So as you can see, these turrets can fire on one another if need be. Uh, reconnect. I don't know how much plasteel we have left for advanced components. It takes 10 per, so we can make at least four. And I know where I can find some additional advanced components. Right in there. So now this rice can just sit here if we need it to. In fact, uh, yeah, I guess I could drag it in here. But honestly, I could turn this into rice storage too. Reclaiming some components from our auto doors. Alright, now Karth is crafting up the advanced stuff. Let's pop that door open. Sweet. This looks almost fully done. We're still mining, which is good. Although we do have a lot of steel now. A lot more than we had before, I should say. Looks like pointless tasks here, but I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to have infections. Oh, let's pause it for a moment. By infections, I mean infestations. My brain is not working at 100% right now, apparently. Um, Alright, so the thing is, we're a little bit shy of an hour, but it's kind of perfect timing to have a nice cliffhanger for another siege because we started this episode with a siege uh we might as well end the episode with a pending siege i see no better way than to leave it like that for a cliffhanger um so you know my normal spiel if you got some feedback for me um drop me a line i find it really helpful in fact there's one thing i forgot to do which i'll do right now which was requested uh lockhart the Halfway. Yeah. Um, that was a request made in comments, and yeah, uh, that's probably pretty fitting. Does everyone have... Yeah, everyone else has a nickname except for Lockhart. So that's perfect. Um, so thank you all for watching. I'm glad you all, all of you tuned in for episode 17. Um, if you, like I said, have any feedback, let me know, and I will catch you all for the Cliffhanger Siege. Alright, adios everyone.